In elementary school, children get the talk about unwanted touching. In college, they learn about boundaries and what constitutes assault. But in between, sex education in schools is often an antiseptic regurgitation of the science of reproduction mixed with healthy doses of the need for protection and, increasingly, abstinence. In the past few weeks, allegations have swelled against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. Accusations that date back more than three decades to the time he was in high school. He has emphatically denied the claims. This moment in politics has spurred many different conversations. One of them, how schools teach students about consent and sexual assault. A study conducted by the Center for American Progress, a nonpartisan policy institute, found that the majority of America's public school students don't know how to identify healthy and unhealthy relationship behaviors as it is. Only 24 states in the District of Columbia mandate sex education in public schools, the study found. Of those, only eight states require mention of consent or sexual assault, it said. California, Hawaii, New Jersey, North Carolina, Oregon, Rhode Island, Vermont and West Virginia. The District of Columbia does too. States are not providing students with enough guidance and support in terms of how to behave in the world they grew up in. Catherine Brown, the vice president of education policy at the Institute, told CNN, It's really important to be clear with them about what is and what isn't permissible and the lines are when dealing with other people in relationships. Some states have detailed standards. Rhode Island, West Virginia and the District of Columbia provide clear standards on topics of sexual health and categorize them by age group, the Center for American Progress found. For example, DC standards require that third grade students are taught how individual bodies are different, and sixth graders learn about sexual feelings and the need for love, affection, and physical intimacy. But most of the states the study looked at, including Georgia, South Carolina, Kentucky, and Nevada, provide little detail on what the curriculum should look like and don't separate standards by age. Delaware, for example, requires that the curriculum of its health education for students includes sexuality education and an HIV prevention program that stresses the benefits of abstinence from high-risk behaviors. And two states, Tennessee and Montana, stress abstinence-only education and STDs, a practice that Brown said has never proven to work on reducing teen sexual activity and pregnancies. The research shows the opposite, Brown told CNN. The students who participate in comprehensive sex ed courses, are less likely to have sex. You have some states that are teaching inaccurate information, she said. Students deserve to have age-appropriate, helpful information about how to behave in intimate relationships. Some are making progress. Still, some states are trying to enact reforms to their sex ed programs. The legislature in Missouri passed a bill this summer to add lessons about sexual harassment, sexual violence and consent to sex education. Rhode Island's governor signed a bill in July permitting age-appropriate education on consent and sexual activity to be increased in family life courses in schools. And in Maryland, the governor approved a bill requiring age-appropriate instruction on the meaning of consent as an unambiguous and voluntary agreement, starting in the current school year. The change has a lot to do with the recent movement that sparked conversation around sexual assault and workplace harassment. Brown said, There definitely is more interest in this topic since the Me Too movement, she said. We are seeing more interest in pushing legislation that would clarify that you should teach consent and sexual abuse. Thanks Christina Maksharis and Saeed Ahmed for help with this report. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe for more videos like these in your inbox. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more of the coolest things that you never knew existed at the best prices, please feel free to visit www.atthismall.com, once again that is www.atthismall.com. Share this video with your friends and family. Since you're watching, we have a small favor to ask. More people are viewing our videos more than ever but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast. And unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall. We want to keep our journalism as open as we can. So you can see why we need to ask for your help. Our videos and reports takes a lot of time, money and hard work to produce. Our investigative reporting uncovers unethical behavior and social injustice that helps to hold governments, 
companies and individuals to account. Through this we can, together, create meaningful change in the world. We do it because we believe our perspective matters, because it might well be your perspective too. For as little as one dollar, you can support us, and it only takes a minute. Thank you. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this video? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the truth or guidance or need a prayer request or studies, please visit followyeshva.com at www.follow. Y. E. S. H. U. A. Now.com Please note that we have changed to a new YouTube channel, the link is in the description box below, please subscribe to the new channel, as this one will no longer have new videos and reports posted to it anymore.